kababayan, today ako po si G. Tanji. We are getting to know our esteemed panel. And nakakatuwa naman talaga dahil alam mong yung puso nila ay bigay na bigay sa kanilang trabaho na ito. So, pag-usapan natin, starting with Grace. Grace, paano mo nalaman na ito talaga yung career na gusto mong sundan? When I came to America, I was about almost 12. So, at that point, ako yung first generation na nag-go through the school system, nag-college ako dito. Um, my first initial career goal was to become a teacher because I really wanted to work with kids. Mm -hmm. So after graduation, um, it just happened, a friend of mine from this other job I was working at mentioned, oh, the department is doing massive hiring, uh, Department of Children Family Services, it's a government job. So at that point, it was just the timing, I think, so I, I kind of applied, put in my application, and I've been with the county ever since. So it worked How out. How many I'm years still now? 20, 22 years. <laughs> 22 so years. It, yeah, this is where, you know, I started my career right out of college. Uh, I went from ER, I used I did five years of ER in emergency, best, emergency response. response. And then at that point of my life, I had, you know, I started a family, so I needed something more of a um, stable because the hours are predictable in mm -hmm. ER. Mm -hmm. And so I moved to the like an office job, the hotline mainly, yes. you know, assessing the But, but that's the, I mean, that's yeah, the that's first the, the, uh, connection, right? The because, front gate of yes. the department. So, um, I mean, in some ways, that's where it all starts. So I am making a big um, contribution to our operation and to the whole department. And the bottom line, I'm still helping kids, saving children's lives every day, and hoping that we are helping families and children okay. all throughout LA County. So ang tanong, so, pag may tumawag, pwede bang mag-request right away? Pwede bang, uh, can I speak to a Filipino? Definitely, definitely, definitely yes. You can do this? Yes, okay. yes. If that's, At yung makakausap nila, pwede mm -hmm. nang tatagalog din? Uh -huh. Yes. So okay. That's how I started with DCFS. <laughs> and you're still and here. I'm still here. Yes. Yes. You're retiring with DCFS. And, and you're, you're helping it's, it's out, much, you know, mm -hmm. you're telling our kababayans your experience. Thank you so much for you're sharing welcome. your journey. Thank you for inviting me. Annibel naman, ikaw, yung trabaho mo as bilang <laughs> investigator. <laughs> right. You are the one that write the report. Malaking trabaho yun na because it's in your hands to determine if this is a substantial case or not. First and foremost, again, kung gusto niyo maging uh, part of Department of Children and Family Services as a social worker or any other position, but specifically if you wanted to be a children's social worker doing the specific job that I'm doing, you have to make sure na this is your passion. Because mm -hmm. it could really be stressful, but then mm -hmm. it's up to you on how you're able to handle it. But then at the same time, the positive aspects of being an investigator, saving lives, mm -hmm. you know, making a thorough decision and thorough investigation na is this child safe or not. Uh -oh. So you really have to be passionate about it. Okay, nag-aral ka sa Philippine Women's right. University, di ba? Right. Okay, uh, how would you say this has contributed to your specific job right now? Kagaya ng sinabi ni Aris nung in the beginning, you know, marami tayong mga kababayan na I meet and then they say, wow, you're, you work for the department? And of course, we start talking, you know, well, how? How did you get into this career, right? Mm -hmm. So I tell them, well, I graduated in the Philippines, not here, and I'm proud of that, right? Mm -hmm. So I tell them, you know, and then it happens to the, their psychology major, that's their background. Mm -hmm. So I tell them, you know, if this, if you really want to be you know, ko ano man yung ginagawa ko, then one thing na i-focus mo is to work with children. Because my major is in psychology. It's related field to social work, right? So I believe the reason why I was able to get in sa, sa Department of Children and Family Services because of the fact prior to my employment, I've worked with different kind of population when it comes to children. So that really helped me. So when I turned in my um, my application, so I wrote everything, and I didn't think that it was really going to help, but I was like, wow, that kind of really helped me. I know a lot of Filipinos mm -hmm. go into this kind of work. Bakit kaya para sa ating komunidad, mm -hmm. maraming Pilipino ang talagang give their careers and their passions over to this industry? Aris? Right. Hindi lamang yung passion eh yung talagang commitment. Mm -hmm. Tsaka respeto sa kapwa. Right. Mm -hmm. Kasi kung wala kang respeto sa kapwa, hindi mo makikita ang the whole perspective right. of what is happening. At ang pinaka-importante yung commitment 
na nasabi ko kanina, hindi lang basta commitment, talagang bigay mo talaga yung yung commitment, <laughs> yung life. Uh-huh. Not really life, kasi meron tayong life after work. I right. mean, in America, it's very stressful. Right. You have to have that balance at the same time, uh-huh. especially if you're a family man or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. But you set aside time for that. Mm-hmm. But yung talagang, um, you, you commit to that, tapos yung talagang yun ang passion mo, I think yun ang magandang formula. Okay. I'm just in awe of all the work that you do because uh, talagang you have to have uh, a really big heart to do it, you know. Tsaka maselan yung mga cases na hinahandle ninyo, di ba? If it's okay, pag-usapan naman natin the cases that have really left a mark and have really affected you, no? Let's share that with the community when we return on Kababayan today.